In our work group, we are focusing on strange quantum effects. And one of these effects is the so-called tunneling effect. The tunnel effect is easily imaginable that if you go through a wall, of course, you will be reflected and it hurts. But small particles, they have a small chance to go through that wall and can be found behind the wall. This is only possible for small particles in the quantum world. And um, I am helping scientists to easily facilitate prediction on this tunnel effect for the small molecules. We usually use quantum chemistry software to compute the energies, for example, and um, other properties of our molecule. And I'm working on a software that helps people to easily predict tunneling probabilities. We are doing both experiments and theory, and the theory is 50% uh, of our work because we are doing the experiments and simulate what we are doing, so it's almost half, half of the work. We use the matrix isolation spectroscopy. That means that we are producing very high reactive uh, intermediates, uh, which can be part of the atmosphere or in interstellar media. And they are such reactive that we freeze them at 3 Kelvin at uh, the absolute zero temperature uh, and investigate them by IR and UV spectroscopy. Here in the graph you can see this is an experimental spectrum. You can see that there are different uh, signals pointing upwards and pointing downwards. And the signals pointing uh, downwards are uh, the signals of reactive intermediates we are investigating. And you can see that the interplay between theory and the experiment is very well. It's the combination of chemistry and information technology. I'm programming, as I said, a tool that helps other people. And I see if they use it, that they can make prediction and make really good prediction and find new molecules that undergo this strange tunnel effect, which can only be found in, uh, with theory and experiment together. It's really cool to see what, what they can do then with my tools. I'm providing them.